Hey guys, so I wanted to share something with you that I actually shared on my um, personal page on Facebook because I felt it was very relevant to this Exceptional Parents group as well as something that we can teach our, our youth, our kids, because it doesn't end ever. And that's bullying on, in, in any form. And the type of bullying I'm going to talk about today is the type that happens on Facebook all the time. And so I um, I joined a group about, gosh, it's been since August or September of last year is when I joined it. So I've been on it for quite a while. And I've noticed that in the beginning, it was really a great uh, group. I, I found a lot of inspiration, a lot of um, ideas for my church calling that I had. And so I really am thankful that I was able to glean something from it. But over the past few months, I've noticed that there were some bullies in there. And uh, some people would be posting comments and asking questions. And some of the answers were really out on left field. I mean, I don't know where. Anyway, and so what I've figured out was that there are some people that they feel they know it all. They have like a blog or they have a YouTube channel. And so they think they know it all. You know, as you all know, I don't ever, 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 ever claim to know it all, ever. As a matter of fact, I'm all the time explaining that I am just, you know, sharing my journey with you and hoping to have some solidarity. And, um, but I never claim to be an expert on anything or to, to know all the answers. Well, <laughs> there was a, a thread and they were talking about different things and I chimed in, made a comment and I got attacked. And this is probably the fourth time it happened over the past few months. It seemed like it was getting worse and worse. And I noticed that it was a type of thinking contrary to mine. And so, um, and this deals with religion. So it's not something that is politics or whatever, it's actually religion. I joined a group that was supposed to be the same faith as me. And so I thought, you know, that this was great. It would support me. And even within that group, I felt attacked. And so I was really, really disappointed. So it all culminated with the discussion on a thread. Um, and if you guys are curious, it had to do with uh, Noah and the ark. And so that's what the discussion was about. And so I I made a comment. Someone responded. Someone else responded. I made another comment. And then the admin stopped comments. Like he closed or she closed, closed comments on that thread. And so I didn't even get a chance to have my final say, as you say, as they say. But you know what? To be honest, I don't really care because I still get the final say <laughs> in my own Facebook group as well as this group. Anyway, and so I, I left the group and it felt great. It felt like a huge load had been taken off my shoulder. I didn't realize it was causing me stress because there were bullies in there making people feel like, well, I have like the PhD of whatever. And so I know everything there is to know about this topic. And I was relying on resources that came from actually my church and the scriptures. So I felt like I... I had a, a better argument than this PhD person had, but it doesn't really matter. In the end, it was not very nice. It wasn't kind the way that they approached that. And so that's why I felt like it was time to move on. And so we need to teach our kids that. I think that some of our kids are being bullied online and we have no idea it's happening. And so they're being bullied into changing their point, their mindset, changing their values, changing how they think about certain topics. And if they speak out, think about it. I'm an adult. I spoke out and it's, it was like months before I decided to leave this stupid group. <laughs> and so imagine a child who doesn't have the same type of conviction and same experience as an adult. So you may want to have that conversation with your child and, and make sure that your child is not being bullied because chances are they might be. I know I was. All right. That's my public service announcement for today. Good luck on your journey as always, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.